it is 3 a.m. and I cannot sleep, so we're doing a room door. Correction, it is 4. So I spent all my time cleaning instead of studying for my final exam tomorrow. Right now we've got Genesis spinning on the table. Shout out to Ryan. So right here we have all of my racing bibs from entire college career. Nats, Lock Havens, Regionals. Even some half marathons, indoor races. Um, some of these bibs are really cool. The Narco ones are so cool. Yep, goes all the way back to first lock even. And I have some of my favorite medals from my high school career still here. A bunch of Herb Schmidt relays. My Gettysburg Invitational. And my YA medal, which I'm super proud of. Got my favorite Beastie Boys album, chilling in the corner. And I keep all my hats here in a nice little row. Probably saw the Flower Boy poster from earlier. Got this pretty sick Bernie poster that I grabbed right before he dropped out of the race earlier this year. Not gonna get over that anytime soon. I do still have the lawn sign that I got at a meet and greet in Penn State for free. So that was cool. My buddy Will from that I met in my climb class drew this Alex Honnold print here. Very cool. Love this. We have my boy Spidey and Daddy Jake. Um, we have this really cool poster from my first live set with my old band. Love this poster. Rose did the did the sketch, and then uh, Parks took the time to fill in the colors, and I really like how it turned out. You cannot really make this out, but it's a Mac DeMarco print. For some reason, it's on like a newspapery thing. I had this frame, and it's the only thing that would fit it. <laughs> But um, it comes from the Record Store Day vinyl. And there's a track listing on here for the This Old Dog demos. And it's pretty cool. We've got the Fleet Foxes print from the vinyl package that they have. We got a Super 8 chilling with a big sun in the corner. Nice. Movable coffee thing. And. Vote Igor poster that I got when I ordered the vinyl, which was sick. If you're wondering, this is the world's largest beanbag. So if you're wondering how I got this, we used to have a youth group at our church in Asbury, but that's kind of not been happening recently and they've just been kind of sitting in the church <laughs> and Ryan, my brother and I were just like yo can we have one of these <laughs> so yeah this lovely fjm poster that i got at a poster sale in penn state there's so much going on on these i could look at them forever <laughs> little study area that I was 
using during last spring when we went online. Got my Daft Punk poster that I also got at that sale. Right here is my to read list for winter break. Super excited. We also have a bunch of art on these walls that looks really cool. Really some of my favorites. Love this J. Della print. Lots of fun stuff going on with this Menomina print. This Igor print came with the vinyl and got to hang it up here, which is cool. Twin Peaks insert from the Record Store Day Season 2 vinyl that I got a few years back. Here's my first electric guitar that I ever had and random Super Size Me 2 poster that I got for free at the Harrisburg Midtown Cinema. Some other random art that I put together in a little poster here. This piece is really cool. It's inspired by the last song on Pinkerton. I always thought this Perfume Genius art piece was really cool. Here's some of the art on the main wall here. Got some Fiona Apple lyrics. Nina Simone, Kevin Morby. Of course, Super Ape. Got a really cool Panda Bear inspired piece at the top. It still blows me away. Got a My Morning Jacket piece that's with a different color palette, which always catches my eye. And we have a really cool 8 bit little art piece for that How to Be a Human Being album that I love. Here is the Tyler the Creator corner. <laughs> this uh, Cherry Bomb album I picked up Record Store this year, which was fucking sick. And behind it, I actually have the Cherry Bomb instrumentals, which is cool. I painted these little seven inch pieces for fun few summers ago. This Flower Boy is just a standard edition, but this Igor record is the exclusive one that he put up on his site that only ran a few thousand copies and came with that insert and poster, which is really cool. I got this hat at the Igor tour, this came with the vinyl. We have the shirt, which has dates on the back that you can barely see. <laughs> and here's some buttons that I always love looking at. I'm just scared I'll lose them. So I keep them all together here. And here is the really neat Vince Staples Flower Boy tour. Love that. I keep the bread and toast posters here just because I kind of ran out of space to hang them up on a flat surface on the wall, but. 
I always look at them, they're really, they, these really did turn out pretty nice. My movies are totally random, aside from horror and animated movies. So I got a bunch of DreamWorks, Over the Hedge, B-Movie, of course. But really the ones that I actually <laughs> bought were, you know, Us, Cabin in the Woods, Midsummer, Hereditary, all the good ones. I've got a bunch of random PS4 games. Most of these I've beaten. The ones I haven't played yet are at State College. And here's a bunch of my Wii games that I played when I was little. I wonder how many hours I put into Animal Crossing when I was little. I already have like at least 150 hours into New Horizons, but I'm pretty sure I actually put more into this. My save file got corrupted though, which is just fucking terrible. So my audio setup actually did take a lot of time to set up. Um, I have my woofer big box next to the receiver there. I really like this little table I have. It fits so perfectly with my U-turn orbit just fitting on it. Um, I found these really nice used um, tall speakers with Joe when we went to Columbia, all the antique shops in Columbia. And they ended up actually working only got them for like 25 or 30 dollars. And I also have a really, so I also have a speaker in this corner and the far corner next to the super ape. So I do follow this wire, put it under the carpet and it does go under this tape here, which works out fine. All the way back to the receiver. And same, same thing over here. You can see the wire kind of following the side of the, a little sloppier because it kind of hangs a little more obviously, but it's really nice, you know, having the sound travel to the back end of the room. So this puzzle has been here for fucking at least two years. Cats have been sitting on it and messing it all up. <laughs> so I always have to gain my progress back, but I'm really hoping to finish it up watching Queen's Gambit this winter break, but we'll see. Not sure where I got that Yamaha, but I love it. The only thing is that the high B is broken. Listen to this. doesn't play properly and it's extremely loud whenever it actually does relative to the rest of the keyboards which just hurts my feelings. A scab doo chilling in the corner. Scooby Doo themed matchbox cars. These are actually so fucking sick. I know I really can't remember where I got them. I feel like some of these are from cereal. But my brother and I definitely played with all these. 
Dude, this is just amazing. <laughs> Got the ones for the movie. Incredible movie. Probably my second most watched movie behind Over the Hedge. Scooby-Doo 2. Here's my third place prize for the bouldering comp last year. And I have one tape. I thought I had a tape deck somewhere, but I was fooling myself, apparently. A bunch of 3D puzzles that are really challenging. Um, my dolphin has fallen yet again. Actually, no, I think it fell and I just I'm just way too lazy to go and grab it, so one day I'll do that. Here's this little cat that always hung out with us at band practice. And about these lights, they were an entire summer project. Um, I do like these little invisible things. I. I had started by using this kind of sticky Velcro stuff. Not how they're supposed to be used at all, but some of them still stick to it, which is cool. I mean, they would have fallen by this point, so there are parts where, you know, it could be glued a little better or whatever, but it's working out nice. Just gonna go through a few settings here that I think are cool. <laughs> this color I probably use the most. When I want to feel like I'm in Stranger Things, I go with this color. The blues are cool. Purples are nice. And if you saw this earlier, it is a joke. Joe's mom got it for him for Christmas the one year and you know, he didn't really want it. So I thought I'd read it for for suits and gigs and it's everything you expect. So not much to report here. <laughs> Got the REM themed calendar for 1995. And Right here I got my little console set up, my AKGs, which I've had since 7th grade. Super durable headphones that I love. Some more remotes and stuff with all the 7 inches and just random stuff on the bottom here. Underneath the bed there. I have at least 10 shoe boxes of memories with random stuff in them, you know, pictures, stickers, brochures from places, or movie tickets, what have you. Piggy Bank is going strong. It has my name on it. room tour with me.